Located on the shores of Lake Washington, seven miles east of Seattle, Bellevue, Washington is an upper middle class community that boasts an excellent school district. On the outside, Bellevue looks good with high schools on Newsweek's list of the best in the nation and test scores which are higher than most of the state. I moved my family to Bellevue two and a half years ago, and I chose Bellevue because of its reputation, which is really excellent. The Bellevue School District claims it provides every student with a top-of-the-line math education, one typically reserved for the elite. Bellevue Schools and its corporate supporters, such as the Boeing Company, suggest that the district's math program is a model for the state and the nation. This video reveals a far different story. The school district has the goals to uh, have its students compete favorably with other students internationally. Um, I don't think that it is achieving that goal. Bellevue is not a typical school district. Few school districts possess such affluent, highly educated, and extraordinarily motivated parents. And even fewer school districts receive millions of dollars in grants from corporations and foundations. Bellevue School District has set, it, set itself up through Boeing grants and Microsoft grants to be kind of a model for the for the, for the nation. Bellevue is being put forth as a model school district for the state and the nation, and it's not. I mean, this is a, this is a uh, area that is very wealthy. They're getting tremendous amount of money from Boeing and, and Microsoft. You can't take what Bellevue is doing and apply it to any other school district in the state or in the nation. With all of these benefits, parents should expect a high-quality math education for their children. But the unfortunate truth is that unproven, discovery-based instructional approaches and mediocre results are the rule in this favored district. Well, you start talking to parents about, hey, did you notice this math? And, you know, what's going on with this math? And pretty soon you, you know, there's many parents that you're talking to and all of them are a little bit, what is this? and none of them really get it. Bellevue uses reform math curricula, often called fuzzy or inquiry-based math. I have kids uh, who are both in middle school and high school right now, and of course I've also had experience with elementary school. Elementary school in Bellevue uses Turk investigations, middle school uses connected math program, we call that CMP, and high school uses Core Plus. Reform math, with its emphasis on student discovery and group work, puts less emphasis on student practice and mastering basic skills. The result? Students are left with big holes in their math abilities. The problem with these inquiry-based uh, curricula is that they, the inquiry-based focus method takes so much instructional time that, uh, that the students have to go so slowly with the group work. They have to go so slowly when they are figuring everything out painfully for themselves um, and not always getting it right either, um, that they, they can only cover about a third of the material that would ordinarily be covered in a similar classroom where the teachers were actually instructing them. This way where you uh, draw the pictures, like f for example, uh, three people share four brownies. You give each person one brownie and then you divide the other brownie, the other brownie by three and give each person a third. But it doesn't really work on bigger problems like this one. Ah! Six people want to share 22 brownies. How much do they each get? 34, uh, 3 plus 4, 6. And here I did. I drew the people, I drew the brownies, and I drew the random lines, and I drew the fractions. Math group work is another really big pet peeve for me because I'm one of the top students in the class. I know what I'm doing. I pretty much understand stuff, you know, second or third time the teacher explains it. And so he sets me in groups with all the people who don't get it. They just want me to tell them the answer and then they can go and text people on their phone or gossip or something else. I think that um, the way that the school district, the curriculum and the way this, the discovery type of teaching, the facilitated teaching is a very inefficient way of um, teaching things and making sure that kids understand each principles and be able to apply the principles and, and set the foundation for other principles. If you have fundamental math skills, the traditional algorithms, bang, you're, you're done in you know, seconds. 
And he'd come home to me out of this uh, course last summer, and he'd say, Dad, I can't do my math. And I'd say, okay, Wyatt, bring me the book. I don't remember how to factor a quadratic, quadratic equation. I can't even say it. But um, if you show it to me, and I'll look at the examples they obviously have in the book, and um, we'll figure it out, and we can work on it. And he says, okay, Dad. And, I'll go, he go, and I go, where's the examples? And he goes, I don't know. Well, they got to be here, Wyatt. Page of the book. Wyatt, there's no examples. I know, Dad. Well, Wyatt, I can't help. We'll have to go talk to the teacher. I said, what's going on with this math curriculum? And she sort of said, I don't know. <laughs> and she was a bit concerned by herself. Well, they're supposed to work in groups and figure stuff out themselves. The frustrating part for me as an engineer is that math is a tool, and I want my kids to use math as a tool. I'm a sophomore at Bellevue High School, and um, last year, when I was a freshman, my parents, seeing as I'd lived in California, had me take the California placement math tests. And they were worried about the school district, worried about my level of comprehension with math. And so they were just checking up to see if I was still up to par with this sort of stuff. I was started out taking the seventh grade test and uh, was difficult. I didn't exactly answer them all correctly, but I finished the test. Then I took the eighth grade test. This one, I didn't know half the questions. I couldn't finish it. It was just difficult. I hadn't learned any of the vocabulary. I hadn't learned how to do all these questions. And it was a year below me. It was the eighth grade test, and I was in halfway through ninth grade. I'd moved here from California just two years before. And so all of my classmates in just two years had completely caught up and passed me. And it was a horrible feeling. I'm happy to learn that I'm absolutely off base and that there's nothing wrong with this. But you have to explain it to me with the numbers and the statistics and the facts. Don't bring me anecdotal evidence about individual kids or individual classes. Dissatisfied parents and students and bad textbooks are not the only measure of the deficiencies of Bellevue's math program. Objective evidence shows the district's performance is not exceptional at all even with its extraordinary resources. There's lots of data that can be, could be collected. Some has been collected by uh, the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction. I've looked at that data, and you can find out interesting things about Bellevue by looking at it. Let me show you. Here's a graph that compares the 10th grade math wassail to the University of Iowa's 9th grade ITED to the SAT to the Washington State Math Placement Test for those students that are going to Washington universities. Blue here shows Bellevue School District, and orange here shows the rest of the, the state. You can clearly see that the Wassel is different than the other three. Don't be fooled by this. In fact, if you look at the other three, the performance is flat. Bellevue is making huge claims about their math curriculum, and yet we see no improvement at the, level, at, the, at the high school level. Now, I think they may have, in fact, I know they have improvement below, but it's at the high school level that it matters because that tells us that our kids are prepared to compete in the global economy. The Bellevue School District is not really doing any better than the rest of the state in terms of preparing kids for college. So the a APTP is the test that the universities in Washington State use to place uh, kids in math classes. And these are the results for the Bellevue School District and the rest of the state of Washington. What's remarkable about this one is that Bellevue, this elite school district with really, really great kids, is doing no better than the rest of the state at getting into math classes in, this, in the universities of our state. A common response that I, I hear uh, the school districts say is that the kids are actually getting it. Um, uh, the elementary school kids get the math are taught today much better than they get the math that were taught previously. My wife volunteers at the um, at various classrooms and uh, we also know a lot of parents who volunteer in the classroom. And I think there's some disconnect because the school district clearly does not see the number of kids who are struggling. So what this data shows here is this is the Iowa, the, the IT, this is the Iowa tests for third grade, sixth grade, and ninth grade. 
And for Bellevue, this red line here is Bellevue, you can see they've actually had some success in sixth grade. Not bad. Now, if I add in the other school districts in this state that adopted Turk at least four years ago, you'll see that Bellevue's the cream of the cream, that these other school districts aren't having nearly the success with Turk that uh, Bellevue is. Now, if I add in the neighboring school districts from Bellevue that have similar types of students, similar economic status, you'll see that Bellevue is the worst of the bunch. So Bellevue should not claim that it's the, the peer of the peer. And finally, I can add in everyone. And you'll see what it looks like compared to everyone else. You'll see there are, in fact, other school districts elsewhere in the state that are doing better than Bellevue is. Why is this so hard? Why aren't people figuring this out? You know the kids can't do math at the levels we all did it when we were in high school, at least when I was in high school. Um, we have all these names for courses, AP this, advanced that, IB that, but if they can't do the work, aren't we just kidding ourselves? And isn't this just a matter of statistics? I don't know what the controversy is. If the statistics are right, then the curriculum's wrong unless you think all the teachers are incompetent, and I simply don't believe that. Faced with the poor math education provided by the district, students are flocking to tutoring and other forms of assistance. Fortunately, many Bellevue parents have the resources to save their children's math education. People here are highly motivated in getting their kids into college. This is why they're willing to pay a lot of money to tutor their children. I've owned the tutoring clubs for just over five years now, and uh, over the last, particularly this last year, we've really noticed a huge, a dramatic increase in the number of kids that need math tutoring. This last year, we were seeing about 60, 40 math to reading, writing kids. This year, it's much closer to 85, 15. We're supplementing our kids at home. Every parent I know is supplementing to some degree at home. My parents started to teach me every day, an hour after school in math, just so that I could keep up with people in California. The situation comes up regularly where a high school, young high school kid will come in and she'll sit down very unhappy and say, I don't get algebra. And I'll say, well, you know, algebra is actually fairly easy if you know everything that comes before it, if you know how to do fractions, decimals, multiply and divide. It's when you don't know how to do those things that algebra becomes really difficult. So what we do is we go back, figure out what basic skills they, they're lacking, give them those basic skills, and then usually the algebra or the geometry or even the calculus takes care of itself. Algebra, which is another series of topics that I don't believe Bellevue School District covers very well. And those basic algorithms that you learn in elementary school uh, are the same algorithms that you will use in algebra and so on, that those are not just any old algorithm that uh, happens to work. They are the algorithms that you are going to need to repeat in algebra and then beyond that. Algebra is the concept that's widely applicable in many, many professions. Uh, everything from life science, which I'm in, to physical science, to engineering, to business. You know, I do see things of value in the Bellevue system, mm -hmm. you know, in their weird math. But, yeah, the, the kids can be very successful in it and have such major holes. A friend of mine tutors in middle school, and um, one of the things she discovered was they didn't introduce how to calculate the area of a circle. One of the things she never found in their book was pi. While our curriculum is not Turk, is not connected math, that the combination of the two is actually a really effective tool. Um, they can get the practice and the exactitude, if that's a word, uh, with using our system while they explore concepts and derive things themselves in class. Because the classes that they are taking only cover a third of the material, it's not enough at home to just help our students do well in the classes that they are taking. We have to go beyond that. So we can't just teach them to, to do 
what they're doing in class properly. We have to give them supplemental material to fill in the two-thirds of the stuff they didn't learn. We've got him a tutor uh, once a week, and, and she's a little more traditional in her approach, and that's a good thing, but I don't think it's enough. I like to see kids at least twice a week for an hour at a time. Um, if we can get them in that much, that's, that's kind of a minimal. I, you know, I would prefer to see them four, six, eight hours a week, but most kids don't have that kind of time and most parents don't have that kind of money. It costs $300 a month, $304 a month to come to my center. Other kids on my daughter's soccer team also um, have said, oh yeah, spent years at Kumon learning. You know, um, if somebody were, were to write that check regularly, uh, their kid is going to do great in school. They're going to graduate with all the skills they need. The Bellevue School District, led by Superintendent Mike Riley, has made many claims about the world-class math education it supposedly provides. As shown in this video, students and parents are being shortchanged with textbooks and curricula that have substantial and well-known weaknesses. With outside tutoring, Bellevue students leave the district without skills required for success in an increasingly competitive and technical world. To most kids, math is hard work, but if you don't build a solid foundation, then you're going to end up hating math rather than like, liking math. And that's, that's something I think that we can all agree on. I wish to hell there was an easy way to teach this stuff, but I'm afraid it's like learning a language. You know, there comes a time when you have to sit down and memorize the verb endings and the words. Is there an easy way to do that? And can you understand the difficult stuff until you understand the very fundamentals, relationships? Math builds on itself. One piece leads to another piece to another piece. We seem to be trying to do it all at once, and I'm sure there's some kids out there who are bright enough to catch on to it all at the same time, but mine aren't. And I suspect some others aren't as well, or we wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation. I believe that if kids just go through the math that Bellevue teaches, they probably won't be prepared for college or a job. They certainly will not be prepared for any engineering in college or a job. And, uh, Luckily, the parents here tutor on the side. The kids who don't have parents who can see that this is a problem, the kids who don't have parents who can either help them at home or afford the tutoring, those kids are going to be left behind. We're advocating for the parents who either have no, no resources to, to help their kids or who just don't know anything about it. It appears that the schools that have the richest parents highest economic parents are doing better, and I wonder about that. It may be teacher skill. It may be that those parents are just capable of supplementing better. I'm just a business guy, okay? And when I'm a business guy and I hire people, and I watch people hire people, I just got a job I want to have done, okay? And I want to hire the person who can do that job. Now, you come in to me and you say, I got, you know, I need a financial analysis. Well, I need somebody who can manipulate Excel and can do algebra and has a fundamental mental ability not just to solve problems but to see the relationships in the numbers. Okay? And you go to me and go, well, I had this math and they just taught us to work in groups and hold hands. And I'm going, oh, that's very interesting. Next. Okay? I don't care what the reason is or what the excuse is. Neither does anybody in business. They just want you to be able to do the job, and if you're not the one who can do it, next. And if you're not an American, we'll get you from India. We don't care. My final message to Bellevue is to stop pretending that the inquiry-based curriculum they're using is good. I think the take-home message is that we just want the Bellevue School District to do its job in helping kids of all level, of all background, to be able to um, have doors open up to them when it comes to career choices and college interests. If you are concerned, please take the next step and learn more. A good source of information is the website www.wheresthemath.com.